Greetings from the shed. This is Diecast Johnny. Yes, I flipped the camera around for this one because I'm not really showing no cars close up. Just want to take a few minutes of your time and just see your opinion, whether it's good or it's bad. Now, I've been in this hobby, well, just a little bit over a year. I've got quite a bit of cars in just a little bit of a year because I have a problem with liking a lot of different things. Uh, but before that, I did have a few cars that I would like to uh, say got me into it, like my Hollywood cars and stuff. I did buy a few of them and put them to the side, hang them on the walls with all my other stuff that I like. But this is the die cast side, that's the other side. We're not even talking about that. I've just been in really full time into the hobby and on YouTube for over a year now. Got close to 300 videos. Some videos get a lot of likes, some videos get a lot of comments, some get none. Some get 50 views, some get uh, 80,000. I don't understand it, and I really mean that. One of them got about 90-some thousand. That was the um, tour of the biggest die shop I've ever been to. Anyway, since I did this, I started joining Facebook groups. Is it the right thing to do, or is it the wrong thing to do? I'm not really sure. I only mainly got on there to just see people post pictures of stuff that they have got. Stuff that they might be selling, if they are selling, if they're scamming people, whatever. I'm not buying off of nobody on Facebook market, uh, well, marketplace I will, but I'm not buying them off of uh, just plain Facebook uh, groups and stuff because I hear so many people getting scammed all the time. But I'm not even really talking about that. What am I talking about, Diecast Johnny? I'm talking about people that put stuff on there and ask a question. Put a picture of a car, say I found this this morning. Did I do good? What do you mean, did I do good? Huh? Are you just wanting to see if it's worth some money? You just bought it for a dollar eighteen. That's probably about what it's worth. So what are you trying to get at? Is it good enough to resell? <laughs> That's the question. I believe, you know, if you like it, you like it. Buy it. I bought so much stuff. I might have posted one or two pictures on there. And I'm in monster trucks uh, uh, groups. I might have posted one or two pictures. I like doing the videos on YouTube. There's where I put my stuff at. Another thing about the groups, why is it so bad to post videos on there? I mean, you let people post pictures of stuff they bought. I buy stuff, but I do mine in video form. They say self-promotion and all that. Well, you know what? I like to try to promote myself. I like to get more subs. I like to get more views. I like to communicate with people. Spread the word, you know? Anyway, there is weird questions asked on there a lot. And a lot of it is, did I do good? Uh, is this a treasure hunt? Is this a super treasure hunt? It's like people that are just going and buying and joining the group just to ask these questions because they could resell it or whatever. I don't, I don't get that. I don't know. It's kind of annoying at times, but... I don't know. It's just crazy. You know, I've never done that because, I mean, I'm not saying I'm an expert or anything. I'm far from being an expert. But, you know, the older cars that I've started collecting over the last year, I've probably got almost 300 vintage rides. Most of them, you know, from the 80s and stuff that I grew up, I already knew about because I grew up with these cars. I don't have to ask nobody. And I, I could get on there and say, how much is this worth? But I really don't care. I just want it in my collection. I guess that's the main thing to do now. I don't know. But scamming people is crazy too because... Uh, the, you know, and verified. Getting verified to sell stuff. I don't understand somebody that maybe runs the group's going to verify you. Or maybe somebody will say, hey, look, yeah, I bought off of them. And uh, maybe they got to get three or four people to say I bought off of them and verify that you're a good seller. And you actually will produce and send the... The stuff I saw somebody the other day open up a box. They showed a picture of an empty box and said they got scammed. Somebody sent a freaking empty box to somebody? I mean, come on, people. Grow the hell up. Why are so many people... And it's not even just in this hobby. It's in... I mean, I collect other toys, uh, figures and stuff 
in my other part of my hobby, or the other part of my shed. And I see that in M groups too. It's not just the Hot Wheels um, Matchbox community. It's every group. People are scamming people for money. Get a job. No, no, this is just a discussion video. I just wanted to put this out here and just have a different type of video. I'm sorry I didn't really show a car off in this video. <laughs> I got stuff behind me. I might put some inserts of some some stuff, but uh, if you've already subscribed to me and you've already been watching me for over a year, you know what I got. Um, and I don't have 30 or 40 supers or stuff like that. I don't really go out hunting for them. If I come across one, I come across one. If I don't, I don't. Uh, another thing is I work at Walmart. That doesn't mean that I get every good car that comes out. That's another thing that I've been seeing people saying and bitching about people that work at Walmart and they're getting all the good stuff. I like to know which Walmarts because my Walmart is strictly against opening boxes in the back, taking something out and walking out there and buying it. I mean, we, we can't even buy, we're not really supposed to buy, I don't even think on our brakes, you know, because we're still getting on, we're still on the clock. So we're supposed to buy at our lunch hour, and that's when I buy my stuff, uh, you know, in case you're buying like a can of soda or something, you can do that, uh, I guess on a 15 minute break, it's no big deal, but you ain't going and buying a bunch of stuff. My window clicked over there, I didn't have it all the way up, it's a little warm outside today, and catching the breeze in here in the shed but yeah so just letting you know that i work at walmart if you ain't already known from other videos and you know i don't get everything i have found a few chases before but i gave them away i found one and i gave it to a buddy that worked there that collected two and another one i gave it to uh my buddy ralph which he does have a diecast shop and he does come around and buy stuff if anybody's going to get anything it's going to be him and he does get more than I do because he's there every morning at, you know, six, seven o'clock in the morning. I don't go in until nine o'clock. I'm not going in three hours early to dig through the stuff or go grab some stuff because my Walmart doesn't get a whole lot of inventory in. It's, it, you know, we got two Walmarts within 10 miles of each other and that's it for a good 30, 40 more minutes down the road to get any more. There's not a whole lot of places besides Family Dollars, Dollar Generals, uh, Dollar Trees, and they're usually just dumped. They're just there's nothing there, Harley. And I think in so many years, Ralph said he's found like two supers at my store. One of them was since I've been there. And uh, he just you just get lucky, you know? So if I'm there, I'm there. If I'm not, I'm not. I'm not opening boxes in the back room and stealing your supers or your treasure hunts or whatever else special stuff, chases and stuff that you want. Take it the way you want to. Give me your opinions on the bottom of, in, the, in the comments and let me know what you think about all this different stuff. Facebook groups and uh, Walmart employees and all that stuff. I hear people talking trash about it all the time and I'm just to the point where I'm just sick of it because I don't get all that cool stuff. This is Doc Johnny reminding you to keep on collecting.